Uh, I know, just news and stream fine. through the mid-morning, not Passing a lot of great. sunshine today. It's also not as humid, so we've got that going for us. And it's not as hot. Now, the humidity is certainly stronger than last week, but remember, we also had temperatures 90, 95 degrees for several days last week. That's not the case this week where dew points sit. At about 67 degrees right now, air temperatures closer to 70. Most of the rainfall well off towards the north or towards the south and east. In between, now there are still some showers, but this is really not the worst of the weather. Downpours right now through I-93, Route 4, approaching the seacoast of New Hampshire and across the uh, Merrimack Valley. But what we'll note as we transition through the mid-morning time is that a lot of the activity that we've already got ongoing continues, but it weakens and then ultimately dissipating with spots of sun at about two or three in the afternoon in and around Boston. Clouds still remain and so do the chance of light streaks of rainfall, but it's not likely to be anything severe nor downpours as well. So our high temperatures today are right around 75 in Boston, 79 in Taunton, not a bad day, 77 across uh, portions of Plymouth and Cape Cod, also in the mid 70s. Tomorrow, it doesn't look a whole lot different, still cloudy, still cool, even a touch cooler in Boston at 73. And portions of Bristol and Plymouth County are at about 75 to 76. Now getting into Wednesday, which we haven't shown you too much of this forecast, but the reason I'm now showing it is because this will be the second day in a row where a lot of the south coast will get downpours. So we are a little bit more concerned about flash flooding, still not likely widespread tomorrow, but in pockets, especially across the south shore, the south coast, and through the islands of Cape uh, Islands and Cape Cod, rather, at about two or three, still lingering activity around the North Shore and also Cape Ann. That wanes, dissipates away. Then we get into Thursday and there's still more rainfall. So again, in total, it's not going to be dry every single hour of Wednesday and Thursday, but it's also not going to be wet every single hour of Wednesday and Thursday too. So if you do have outdoor plans, do me a favor. If you've got the cell phone handy, pull it out and scan this QR code because it will take you to our homepage. You can better time out the showers for where you are. If there are flash flood warnings, which I'm not saying they're likely, but possible Wednesday and Thursday, we will send that to you right to your cell phone. You can get the latest information. It's likely another one to two, maybe three inches of rainfall in pockets. But again, most of the heavy activity should be confined towards the south coast and Cape Cod. Three days of rainfall. Once we get through that, we get, hey, look at that. More than three days of sunshine. Count them. One, two, three, four, almost five days of sun. So the extended forecast does look to be a little bit more prolonged in terms of the drier weather.